we are officially heading out to sea. I am so excited. This will be our first legit ocean passage in almost two years. That is really weird to think about. I'm Nikki, this is Jason, and this is Curiosity, our home and the driving force behind our thirst for exploration, literally and philosophically. And today, we're setting sail on the open ocean for what feels like our maiden voyage all over again. You see, we're in the remote island kingdom of Tonga, and the borders are locked down tight. We spent four months refitting our boat after it set for a year because of COVID, okay. and while we've been back in the water for a few months, it's been cyclone season. And this is the only safe harbor in the whole kingdom. I would not want to be in sea in this! Oh my gosh! But the end is nigh, the predictions are clear, and we're embracing being the only sailors out exploring this island nation. and it feels good. We have Cyril on board with us. If you remember, we met him at the boat yard. He helped us fix our hatches, do a couple things on the boat. He actually was working for Veneto and Lagoon when he was in France. And then he flew over here and he bought a boat. He's outfitting the boat. He's rebuilding the boat. He's about to splash. And he told us the other day that he's never been on an overnight passage. So this is his very first ever overnight passage. He's been living around boats for so long. It's kind of cool to share something like that. And definitely working on getting my sea legs back. Yeah, right? I don't feel bad yet. We just ain't Mexican, so, you know, <laughs> if it comes out, it's going to come out fast and hard, baby. <laughs> and a little spicy. <laughs> Cranking right along. It's supposed to be a 24 hour sail, or generally, right? 160 ish nautical mile one day. But we're getting such good speeds, we're staying a solid eight knots. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> to be close he talks to us, he just, nothing against you. You just make him very uncomfortable. just realized I forgot to clear the knot log so whenever I show our true wind on the Garmin verb the you know the readout on the data it's not gonna be right oops clear the knot log reminder hello and welcome to C speak the show within a show where we break down the nautical things that seafarers say. Today, we're undoing the knot log. A knot is how we measure speed. 
It's defined as one nautical mile per hour. A log is a tool we use to see how fast a ship is moving through the water. Let's turn to the rectangle of knowledge for some visuals. The term dates all the way back to the 1600s when sailors would toss a specially designed piece of wood attached to a rope with exact space knots off the stern of a ship. They counted the number of knots that passed through their hands in a specific time frame to determine the ship's speed. Today, sailors and aircraft pilots still express speed in knots and measurement devices are known as logs. Our knot log is at the bottom of our hull and sends the information to our chart plotter. We can still see speed based on our GPS, but without the knot log, we won't be able to calculate the true wind, current, set, and drift. Thanks so much for tuning in. Now back to the main show. Wait, I want to tell you about that app I turned on because that is today's sponsor, Surfshark. We do not recommend anything we don't personally use, and we've been using a VPN since we set sail. Because while we like to think we're out here sailing like it's 1492, the reality is we live in a very digital world. Surfshark is an app and browser extension that not only encrypts our online data, but also serves as our ad blocker. So we can surf in a clean cyber ocean with no ads, trackers, malware, and phishing attempts. And it's also our VPN, which lets us change our IP address and virtually place ourselves anywhere in the world to unblock websites and content that we couldn't access otherwise, which means we can avoid geo restrictions on sites like Netflix, services like Venmo, and even get around YouTube live streaming blocks in certain countries. Yeah, we've gotten around the system. It's seriously an invaluable tool for us. And right now, if you use our discount code WINS, you get 83% off plus three extra months for free. Most importantly, if you don't know if it's the right tool for you, no worries, they offer a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk to try it out. I'll make sure and put a link in the description below. And now really, Back to that sail. Oh man! <laughs> We're probably gonna have to close that side. Oh, just got nailed in the wave. Yeah! Holy cow! I had the iPad in my hand and it hit me right in the shoulder. The water. Hot to go. See if I can capture some of those. They're actually. I mean, it's been a while since I've been out here, so it all feels very and like a lot of movement. They're big, the waves are pretty big. It's kind of like riding a bicycle. It's not an unfamiliar, unsteady feeling. It's like, oh yeah, I know this. <laughs> oh man, I missed that one. Okay, that's a good one. Being by myself at the helm with the moon, and it's a full moon at the moment, so. It's gonna be good. Yeah, I look for a while. It's a good sail. Yeah, for the first time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you just started. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty of time for it to go south. We can still see. We can still see, Can we turn back now? <laughs> great sail. Great sail. Let's turn back. It's over. Let's go. <laughs> Just after six o'clock, sunset is just about to happen. We have not caught a fish yet. Very disappointing. Uh, yeah, let's go check in with the rest of the crew. <laughs> All right, we've been at sea for like five hours now. How are you doing, Mom? I don't feel amazing. I don't feel terrible. I had a little touch and go spell there a little bit ago, where I was just kind of like, oh no. But now I'm focused. Feeling not good, but okay. <laughs> it's beautiful. Sunset's gonna be amazing. And we are flying. 
8 to 10 knots. We saw 12.8 as our top speed. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. This boat's not supposed to go 12.8 knots. Yes, it is. I mean, it can, yeah. But when I'm on it, it's supposed to go like 7 to 9. Uh, no, I completely disagree. 8 to 10 is like the sweet spot. 11, 12 is nice and exciting. Anything above 14, this, that gets uncomfortable. Okay, where's our fish, Cyril? In the sea. <laughs> Should be in our plate. We need to sing a, a fish calling song. I don't know any song. Poisson, 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 poisson. Viens, yeah, mordre à l'hameçon. Sun has just set. I'm on first night watch, and the full moon is going to rise in about 30 minutes. So I think it's going to be pretty spectacular first watch. Yeah, moon. I definitely got the best of the best for the watches because also I have sunrise. So sunset, moon rise, and sunrise are all mine. Benefits of being captain of the boat. I mean, Nikki's the boss, but yeah, I'm the captain. All right, good evening. It is 11 o'clock. The moon is so bright. It looks like a gigantic flashlight in the sky, just lighting everything up. There are stars out there, but the moon is so bright you almost can't see them. It's wild, and you can see every way. It's incredible. Just past the ferry, which when we first got back to Tonga, is what we took to get to Vado, and the ferry will be <laughs> the only thing we'll see. There is no boat traffic. We're in. The only thing on AIS. I'm just getting back on the boat to actually get out and stretch our legs. That little sense of freedom, that little sense of normalcy that we haven't felt, I don't think that's just probably going to be probably obviously since the beginning of the whole pandemic. So, yeah, it feels good to feel normal and like we're moving forward. It's going to be all right. how challenging it is, the lack of sleep, the stress that you deal with on the lead up to sailing, all the prepping and the planning and the boat work and chores and man, just tired and getting knocked around feeling like I'm in a washing machine, but I know it's going to be a glorious day. We are four hours from entering the channel, so we are four hours from hopefully what is a calm anchorage and a nice little place to be. I'm humbled by this experience. A nice kick in the butt <laughs> to remind me what it's like. But I'm so grateful to be able to do it. So happy to be out here and feeling surprisingly good. Much better than I was earlier.
channel is and you can't see anything. I mean, all of these islands are so low lying. I've seen nothing the whole time. There's a whole big, like, well, not a big island, but a, the biggest island here. And there's like, you can see nothing. It's so weird. <laughs> I'm like, well, let's start to turn to get into the channel. Oh, looks like open sea. There is an island Somewhere. and a real town. <laughs> Somewhere right there. Maybe a little decorance here before we drop the hook? Yeah. A shower? Yeah. <laughs> Come for in. Come on, Ray. Come on, Ray. I still plenty of rain coming. Shoot me your towel, yeah. <laughs> There's rain on like three sides of us, except for not right here, right where we need it. Overnight passage. How was it, Cyril? Uh, Can be I, honest. I didn't expect that. That roughness. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it was not com uh, uncomfortable actually. I uh, I enjoyed being bounce on the bed, you know, jump over the, the mattress, <laughs> catching <laughs> air. <laughs> but um, no, it was great. Yeah, great experience. Ready to do it again. Yeah. Yeah. So just On rougher than you thought it was going to be, huh? Yeah. 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 Well, that is legit. Like if you're going to have 20 knots of wind, open ocean, and out here we're in such deep water with like nothing around, to, mm -hmm. you know, to slow yeah, down that's that how swell. It is. Yeah. That's how it is. Yeah. 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 But yeah. So yeah. So man, no, no, no. And you didn't get sick? Like. I had a little nausea. Yeah. Because I was looking on my phone, actually. I was playing a chess game, and after that, ooh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, lesson, yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But after that, no, I was, uh, was I was good. all right, yeah, yeah. And how did you enjoy your your night watch? Oh, it was great. Oh, amazing, moonshine, clear sky, that little bit of rain. No, oh, it's uh, as I said to um, to Jason, it was too short. <laughs> well, that's okay. We'll give you a longer one next time. Yeah, yeah no problem. I, I will handle it. So you're you're hooked. You're you're yeah. ready. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm hooked. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, good. So you're not gonna go back and sell shackles. Definitely not. Oh, okay. <laughs> it pushed me. <laughs> no, it's the opposite. It pushed me to uh, to put her in the water uh, ASAP. Yeah, yeah. Get to it, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you're missing that... out. You're you're not getting the best part of owning a boat. Exactly. And now that the cyclone season is past, I guess. So yeah. Yeah. I have, uh, six months, six months in front of me to enjoy. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. baby. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do the cheesy high five. Yes! Yo! No, wait, that was... oh, no. It is a... ah, ah! That's the sound. <laughs> oh, and how about you, love? How was your, your shakedown cruise? Perfect, perfect. Got just a little queasy. I was drinking a smoothie and I was like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. And then I was fine. Yeah. I was fine. So, woohoo! Yay! No, no throwing up dance. <laughs> Not that I throw up that often, but you know, no, it's like it's yeah. been a year and a half. So, yeah, nothing broke as far as we know. No. So, I would say that is a very successful trip, although they did tell us when we were coming in, they were like, you know about border restrictions, right? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. we come from. Uh, <laughs> bye -bye. So, we'll see what happens when we go to land. 
Yeah, so far, no, no Navy around us. Yeah, no Navy. Yeah, yeah right? There's no gun yeah. pointing, on, pointing on us. No helicopters, so I think we're going to be okay. Well, we haven't been to customs yet. Yeah. All right. What are those stats? Uh, I'll give you the stats, yeah. and then I've got, I've got, I've got to prepare for a shower. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so we had... 172 nautical miles, it took us 22 hours, so that's an average of 7.8 knots. So for a shakedown cruise, I think that is, I mean, what more could you ask for? We were rocking along the entire time, set the sails and then almost really never touched them again. No crazy storms, it was, I don't know, for me, that was like perfect passage. Woo. With just enough rock and rolling and wave surfing to keep things interesting, but not so much where your head hurts and you just want it to stop. Legit, two to three meter swell, 20 knots of wind. It was good. Ay, 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 ay! Are we gonna get our deck reds? Ah. Hurry! It's nice ah. to know I didn't put this bathing suit on for nothing. Too sweaty, oh my gosh! <laughs> Delivery was better the first time. I got this. <clears throat> I'm a little flemmy. Water? Thank you. Chili pepper? <laughs> we'll do that after the show. Oh. Thanks. <clears throat> <clears throat> no medication needed, just a real spicy pepper to clear you right out. All right. <clears throat> Want to bring out your insecurities? Shoot a video. Okay. <laughs> Uh, that a wrap? Wrap. Wrap? Done. Can I drink the, the prop? Of course. Okay. <laughs> That's not whiskey. That's not nice. That's tea. Okay.